again, we're in a fortunate situation that, you know, uh, Ben Cantor, our, uh, our video coordinator, who used to be an assistant coach back in the day before he joined us, has filled in that role for Shea. And he's terrific. I mean, he's, he's really smart, does a great job uh, with the players. He's got great rapport with the players. He sees the game. And, and certainly he's been, you know, he's been around the program for four or five years now. So he, he understands. Well, I think uh, Coach mentioned that Ben had been an assistant uh, a number of years ago. So, you know, I think he's just trying to do whatever we need him to do um, to help. And that, you know, he still has to have his responsibilities with film, uh, doing, you know, getting our film ready and things that we need for each team. But now he's going to step in and help with scouting. And um, I think he's just like everybody, when you're, when you're down one or two people, the next person has to step up and be ready to go. And uh, Ben is willing and, and ready to do anything that we need him to do, whether it's on the court behind the, you know, video, videotaping stuff getting film or um, being another set of eyes on the bench. Ben, Ben is great. Um, he's the, <laughs> he talks. He's competitive. Um, I'll, he's comp- very competitive. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but it's great to have him on our staff. Um, and he does a great job um, and whatever he is thrown at him. And we're happy to have him. Yeah. I think he's definitely made uh, the most in terms of helping us this season, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, with his film and what he kind of puts together off the court and then even just stepping on with us and going up and down, like it's definitely not easy, especially for somebody that um, isn't doing that consistently. So for him to, you know, step out there and help us go through things and, um, you know, play scout team and just kind of be there to help us. I think it really speaks volume. So yeah, Ben's great. Yeah, Ben is great. Alexa. Chris, and you obviously were speaking about the uh, inequalities before, and one of the other ones that's been brought up is that you guys are taking less accurate COVID tests. I guess the men on in Indianapolis are taking PCR, and you guys are doing antigen. And I know so far everyone's testing negative, and it hasn't been an issue yet. But uh, when you hear something about that, um, that you guys are having less accurate COVID tests, like what do you kind of feel about that? And uh, the way that the NCAA kind of didn't maybe prioritize your safety. Uh, yeah, I just saw that on social media uh, before this call. Um, and again, that's very unfortunate. I had no idea about any of that or the specifics of the test. I just know we show up, we test negative, and then we go back to our rooms. So to hear that is kind of mind blowing, um, just especially because of the whole COVID and, you know, it's mind blowing. I don't really have anything else to say, though. So. Yeah. All right, we'll go to Pat. And both of you talk about what the biggest difference is between a practice run by uh, your coach and a practice run by CD. And um, uh, how much interaction have you had with with Gino? How often does he zoom into you guys? And um, how has that been? Um, There's not really much of a difference. There's still the same expectations, you know, in terms of level of intensity and effort. And so that's on us to to bring every practice. Um, In terms of just talking with Coach, we were able to talk with him last night um, after practice, and he seems to be doing fine. Um, He's healthy. And so we're just looking forward for him to to come up as soon as possible. He said he was watching uh, practice. Was he was he actually like coaching when you were on the video call or was it just more about how he's doing and when he can rejoin you? Or was he actually breaking down some of the things you did in practice? No, I believe he was just watching. But, you know, we were able to talk uh, with him afterwards. So that was nice. Doug? Just um, curious, more of a general question. Obviously, you've been – having to quarantine um what have you been doing besides basketball it's just a lot of schoolwork and trying to you know stay busy or what just what's that been like yeah definitely a lot of work yeah (laughs) um trying to trying to stay on top of our class especially considering you know we're all online um so that's that's been the the biggest priority outside of you know basketball and and um safe quarantining 
Anything else for the players? Charlotte, go ahead. Just real quickly follow up on that. Now that, how are you guys able to do anything kind of fun in the off time besides focus on schoolwork or able to do and basketball? Just any? Uh, we play cards and we play Uno. <laughs> We need uh, to have to for us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. CD our our little uh, Texas showdown stuff, you know, our little games. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she you she know, does CD. a great job of, of you know, uh, having us, you know, have little activities and fun things to do, especially on the road like this. So, yeah. Anything else for the players? All right. Thank you, everyone. We will talk to you post game. Thank you. Right, thank you.